Today, September 4th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Rose of Viterbo. St. Rose was born of poor and pious parents in Italy. She entered the world at the time when Emperor Frederick II was oppressing the church. By age seven, she had declared her intention to live the life of a recluse, devoting herself to penances. At the age of 10, she became a secular Franciscan and soon began preaching in the streets about sin, about sin and the sufferings of Jesus. The town of Viterbo, which belonged to the Papal States, had revolted against the authority of the Pope. Disregard for religion and moral degradation were the order of the day. But the sermons of the little missionary had marvellous results. The people came in crowds to hear her. When Rose took the Pope's side against the Emperor, she and her family were exiled from the city. The family left Viterbo, ending up in the city of Vitorciano. When she was 15 years old and anxious to enter the convent of the poor Clares, as she had no dreary, she could not be admitted. A number of young girls came to her for instructions at Viterbo, and she taught them the principles of modest prudence and faithful love of God. Rose fell ill again and recognised that her end was approaching. She prepared, rejoicing in solitude for her glorious destiny, and died at the age of 18 in 1251. Two and a half years later, after her death, reappeared re three times to Pope Alexander IV, who was at in Viterbo at the time, and told him to have her body removed to the convent of the poor Clares. When this was done, her body was found incorrupt, and it had remained in that condition to this day. For more than 700 years, it has remained supple and unchanged, save for its colour which was darkened after a fire in the chapel where it was reposed. Miracles are constantly occurring at her tomb. Pope Catullus III canonised her in 457. Saint Rose of Viterbo, pray for us.